guys today I have for you something absolutely insane Hunter's Fury deflector shield setup hold your horses guys this is pure barbecue chicken because deflector shield will work with your Hunter Fury gear set welcome to insanity the one and only uncle butcher in the building as usual if you're new here hey welcome to the family best hit that like smash this up or leave a hateful comment it truly depends on your preference you know how the system works but long story short guys actually hunter's fury gear set will work with your skills for example if your drone or turret will kill somebody you'll receive health and armor back look at my example my deflector shield will kill enemy and i received immediately armor and health back with that you will basically apply status effects on nearby enemies you will crowd control them if you know or if you understand spawn locations that's game over baby pure insanity ah just like i love baby Hunter's Fury gear set by itself in close range will amplify your weapon damage and since we are fighting in close range anyways, perfect synergy in my eyes guys, pure mm, deliciousness is good I think. Anyway, you get the point. For the pistol you could use Regulus or Liberty. Liberty has really nice synergy because with headshots you can heal your shield but you can stack it as well and you can get a ridiculous amount of damage. And if you're gonna pair it up with new exotic mass catharsis, oh, you have some nasty raw damage on the setup. And that will be amplified. And we have lots more in this setup. So buckle up, we are ready to start. But before we continue, quick work today sponsor Deving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through icon sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code, Urbidiv, you will have 15% discount on all services. Amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales. And if you have any questions, simply drop them down below in comment section or contact the operator. But now let's move to my Hunter's Fury hybrid setup. And I think you have never seen anything quite like this before, right? Somebody is using Hunter's Fury gear set with deflector shield. And one really important tip here, I'm using Adrenaline Rush as my backpack talent, but we have a couple options. You could use Memento backpack for extra skill tier to get more damage out of your deflector shield, armor, core attribute and skill, yeah, skill tier, yeah, yeah, I mean weapon damage, baby. You can get more weapon damage out of this setup. And then simply use Wyvern Mask, maybe for extra skill damage or maybe walk in the Harry's for, for extra weapon damage. Again, it depends how you want to rock this setup. In team play though, I would not recommend you to stick with Memento Backpack. The reasons are really simple, there are too much action, man. If everybody is using skill setups, drones, true red seeker mind, stinger hives, that kind of shit that most likely you will not be that effective with collecting those trophies to be efficient with your memento backpack, you will not get bonus armor. So that's kind of tricky. Armor regen will not, not be there at least for quite some time before you reach the cap. So yeah, for solo, yeah, memento good. Team play, no. So Adrenaline Rush is the way to go and since I'm using Hunter's Fury gear set I'm on kill applying status effects and I can kill them with the grudge name at SMG and I will activate Vindictive Talent. So now I will receive crit chance and crit damage but my teammates actually as well. So really nice talent to use, kinda underrated the SMG if you ask to me. Really nice actually, maybe the damage is not the craziest, but from the other hand, you are boosting your teammates as well. So, DPS guys are kinda dope on legendary difficulty. For specialization, technician, nothing new, extra skill tier, skill damage, disrupt grenades, link at laser pointer attachment, which I'm using on my police M4, by the way, my favorite assault rifle right now in the game, handling accuracy, top notch, baby. And yeah, I will know my I will know now where my enemies are running. Most likely they will try to flank me and you can adjust your playstyle accordingly. 
Uh, we have a couple options as well. You could use Scorpio shotgun as uh, your emergency weapon. If shit will hit the fan, you could use Scorpio shotgun and maybe switch Liberty for uh, name it pistol with again extra skill tier and in sync. You have a couple options there. You would receive more skill damage and. Uh, a weapon damage as well would be pretty nice so in sync works really well but liberty regulus both of these guns are really dope if you know how to use liberty will heal your shield with headshots with full stacks so you can heal it on the fly with headshots and meanwhile uh, those uh, artificial high or artificial hive charges are flying to you so really nice synergy but regulus from other hand if you know those spawn locations with headshots you can deal massive 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 damage so again some room for versatility here for mask i'm using new exotic mask catharsis which was introduced to us with title update 15 we are stacking a lot of damage and with full stacks applied on us with all that incoming damage we will release uh, healing cloud maybe you are not getting that much armor back but it's kind of handy and it helps a lot when adrenaline rush is not working you're getting some kills you are healing yourself so for synergy reasons really though but main thing of course is that extra weapon damage 30 percent weapon damage buff is quite frankly nasty and we are pairing up with liberty liberty will give us 60 percent weapon damage with full stacks this mask 90 percent excuse me 30 percent so in total we have 90% extra weapon damage and don't forget that Hunter's Fury gear set in close range will amplify our damage and we're gonna stack this gear set as well and since I'm using Hunter's Fury chest piece you don't have to worry about those 10 seconds. Half a minute is way too much time for us to get only one kill. You can kill drone, healing station and boom you have 30 seconds more to stack your hunter's fury gear set even further and get more damage out of this setup to me pure synergy pure badness badass setup <laughs> uh, for mods protection from elites nothing new here really nice mods to have especially if you try to face tank somebody uh, as my second tier attribute i'm using skill damage 1.5 million armor is enough with adrenaline rush pretty nice so with protection from elites we are not taking that much damage for backpack i'm using wyvern but you could use maybe walking harris if you want more damage or memento backpack for solo play and simply use wyvern mask maybe or walking harris mask but like i said don't use on legendary difficulty in team play memento backpack it's not the best choice you will not be able to get those trophies with ease so you will not be efficient you will not stack it quick enough uh, for knee pads, Hunter's Fury, skill damage, armor, pretty goddamn self-explanatory. Oh my, oh fuck, oh Jesus, oh that stinks. <laughs> uh, for the skills I'm using, come on man, shield and artificial hive. Maybe you could use Defender Drone if you are nice with your headshots and if you can stack Liberty quickly. Uh, again. Uh, yeah, I would recommend you to stick with this setup. Thank you for watching Butcher Drops the Mic. Stay safe, love you all, and remember to tell your loved ones that they're fucking amazing. I'm a little bit exhausted. We are looking for a new house, but we because we want to stream. Bye. And